All right, folks, welcome to Yak Math Videos for your Algebra 1 quiz review video for 7175, uh, which is on Friday. Folks, today we are brought to you in-house sponsors of Caldi's Coffee, Cliff Bar, Laura Bar. All right, I'd like to thank our Litchfield sponsors of Coffee Espresso, Chinatown, and Ruby Tuesdays. Folks, on number one, you need to add the exponents. So x to the seven times x to the four times x to the fifth is x to the 7 plus 4 plus 5, x to the 16th. Add the exponents here on number 2 as well. First, do 4 times 5, which is 20. Then add 5 and negative 8, which is negative 3. We can't leave an exponent as negative, so that would be 20 over x to the 3rd. Number 3 here, when you have a power 2 power, you multiply, so it's 7 times 3, x to the 21st. On number 4, you got to do 4 squared. You got to do 4 squared first, which is 16, then a power to a power x to the 10th. All right, on nine, uh, ask yourself what has more x's, the top or the bottom? The bottom has six more, nine minus three. What has more y's, top or the bottom? The y, ha the top has more. Four minus a negative two is y to the sixth. Here, folks, 72 is the bigger number. You're gonna do 72. Uh, Divided by 24, which is 3. 3 is in the denominator. The top has more x's, 5 more. 3 minus a negative 2. Stanley is playing around with something on the ground there. If you hear a noise. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48. Then add the exponents. x to the 6th. y to the 7th. All right, you got to do 5 squared first. Power 2 power. You get uh, x to the 4th. Multiply 4 and 2 to get y to the 8th. Multiply 5 and 2 to get z to the 10th. On nine, let's do, uh, simplify this first. Let's do 10 divided by five, which is two. The bottom has more, or the top has more X's, it has three more. So I just simplify this to give me two X to the third, then I raise both to the fourth. Two to the fourth, 16, multiply the powers, X to the 12th. All right, on 10, I do the same thing. 12 divided by three is four, four, four goes in the denominator. There are six more X's up top. Three more y's down below. Raise everything to the third. Power to power, that's x to the 18th. Do four to the third, which is 64. Uh, then you got y to the ninth. All right, number 11. Folks, you got to work with this first. This is x to the eighth. This would be x to the 15th. So now put them together. A uh, now you would add the exponents, x to the 23rd. Here on 12, folks. The uh, top has more x's, five more. The bottom has more y, three more. And the top has more z's, five more. Anything raised to the zero power is one, so 13 is simply one. Here on 14, you're gonna do four to the third, which is 64. You're gonna do a power to power, negative three times um, three is a negative nine. Two times three is six. That negative exponent goes south. Power to power, that's simply x to the 25th, y to the 15th. Multiply uh, 3 and 6 to give you 18. Add the exponents. Add the y's. All right, add the exponents for x, y, and z. And there you go. x to the 5th, y to the 7th, z to the 5th. Uh, 3 to the 2nd is 9. Then multiply the powers. x to the 4th, y to the 8th. Um, again, power to power, you multiply the powers x to the 6th, y to the negative 10th, z to the 2nd, that y to the negative 10th would go in the denominator, become positive, or y to the positive 10th. All right, folks, good work on the first page. Take a look, next page here. Um, you're first going to write each radical as a fractional exponent. So remember, the root that you're taking is the denominator. What you're raising x to is the numerator, that is x to the 5 thirds. All right, you don't see a two there, but you're taking the second root of x to the third, so that's x to the three halves. 21, you're taking the seventh root of x to the fifth, so you get x to the five sevenths. Here you're raising x to the first, so it's x to the one fourth. Here you're raising x to the first again, so it's x to the one third, x to the five sixths. Again, the root you're taking is the denominator. What you're raising x to is the numerator for your fractional exponents. All right. There are your answers for 26, 27. We're going backwards here. So this time, the denominator is the root you're taking. 
and the num or the numerator of that exponent is what you're raising x to. So all these get a square root. You're taking the fifth root of x to the third. 29, you're taking the third root of x to the fifth. 30, you're taking the second root, so you could put a two out there, you don't need to, of x to the seventh. 31, you're taking the fourth root of x to the eleventh. Here's your answer for 32, your fifth root of x squared. Um, you're taking the third root, the cubed root of just x, if you wanted to put x to the first, that's fine, but you don't need to. You're taking the fourth root of x to the third. The second root, so you don't need to put a two out there because that's what the second root is. It's just the square root of x to the fifth. Here you're taking the sixth root of x to the 13th. All right, so hopefully some easy points in there. All right, 37 through 40 might be a little bit more challenging. Guys, you need to get the same base. I want two is a pretty simple base, so I need to get 16 to be two to some power. Use your calculators, it's two to the fourth. Two times two times two times two. When the bases are the same, then the exponents must be equal. X minus 3 must equal 4. Add 3 to both sides. X is 7. On 38, 625 is 5 to the 4th power. Four, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So then set the exponents. X plus 3 equal to 4. X is 1. 27 is 3 to the third, 3 times 3 times 3, so set the exponent of 2x plus 1 equal to 3, subtract 1, divide by 2. 64 is 2 to the 6, x plus 4 is equal to 6, x is 2. Write each number in standard form, okay, so just move that decimal over 4 spots. So when you move it over twice, you'll have 2 more zeros. 42, you'll move it over twice with five more zeros. Here, you just move it twice, 130.5. On 40, you're gonna move it over four times to left. So you're gonna move it over once, then everything before that's a zero. So there'll be three zeros, followed by 7021. 45, move it over three times. So you're gonna move it over once, and there'll be two zeros before it. Here you're going to move it over once, or you really just move it over twice. You can do, see that here. You're going to move it over once, and there's going to be one more zero before it. All right. Here you're going to move it over three times, so that will give you 4,081. Here you move it over just one to the left, so 0 0.706. And I believe in the next section we will go backwards. We're going to write just everything. So do the opposite. We're going to write everything in scientific notation. So remember, in scientific notation, you have to start with a number that is a single digit. So put the decimal point right there. This is going to be 8.125 times 10 to the other four numbers after the 8. 10 to the 4th. On 50, you're going to put the decimal between 7 and 3. And you're going to move it over. So what you do, you moved it over twice. So that's going to be, the number is less than 1, so it's 7.3 times 10 to the negative second. The number is less than 1, it's got to be to the negative power. I right, put a decimal right there, 1.57, and then you moved it over twice, times 10 to the second. Here put the decimal between 1 and 8, and there's 4 numbers after the decimal, so times 10 to the 4th. This next one right here, it's going to be 6.1, and you moved it over 1, 2, 3. So times 10 to the negative third. 54, put a decimal right there, 4.15. And then you just moved over once, times 10 to the negative first. 55, put a decimal between 4 and 2. Moved it over twice. So 4.2 times 10 to the negative second. Put a decimal between uh, 5 and 7 right there. 5.75. And there's four numbers after, so times 10 to the fourth. 57, put a decimal between 3 and the 2 there, right? And there's 5 numbers after a decimal, so times 10 to the 5th. 58, put a decimal between 8 and 3, and there's 5, there's 4 numbers after, so times 10 to the 4th. On 59, for the decimal between the 9 and the 0, and there's three numbers after, so times 10 to the third. 
On 60, we put the decimal between 8 and 3. You just moved it over once, so it's 8.3 times 10 to the first. Put the decimal right after the 5, they're between 5 and 6. It's going to be 5.64, you moved it over twice, times 10 to the negative second. Put the decimal between 1 and 2, 1 1.26 times 10 to the 4 numbers after 1 times 10 to the 4th. You guys have been doing very well with scientific notation. The last page here, find the product. Simply do 3 times 2.4. That's uh, 7.2 and then add the exponents times 10 to the 9th. Here you're going to do 6 divided by 8, which is 0 0.75. The top has 2 more, so 5 minus 3 is 2. Now notice, that's not proper scientific notation, so you need to move this over. You have made this bigger. If you make it into 7.5, so you got to make this smaller by 1. So 7.5 times 10 to the 1st. 9 divided by 4 is 2 and a quarter, and times 10 to the negative second, 5 minus 7. 6 times 1.4 is 8.4, add the exponents, times 10 to the third. 67, you get 8.4 times 10 to the 11th, when you multiply 4.2 and 2, and add the exponents. 68, 8.4 divided by 4 is 2.1, and 3 minus the negative 2 is times 10 to the fifth. And on 69, 5.2. Three, or 5 times 3.6 is 18 times 10 to the 9th when you add the exponents. So you need to make 18 smaller, put the decimal there. When you make this smaller by moving over once, you need to make this bigger by adding another factor of 10. So 1.8 times 10 to the 10. 70, you're going to get 1.92 when you divide 9.6 divided by 5. Uh, negative 2 minus 4 is times 10 to the negative 6. 9.6 divided by 1.6 is 6. And then 5 minus a negative 3 is times 10 to the 8th. And last question, 4 times 1.6, 6.4 times 10 to the 10th when you add the exponents. And that is it, folks. That's your quiz review video for your quiz on Friday. This is Yak Math Videos signing out.